pay the bills. Y'all get more thrills with Roscoe and the G Man, the Raptor. Right after this. Check this out. My weekend started off cray squared. Cray squared. Cray cray. Ah. Yeah. I got a hold of some of them space cakes that have been going around town. I love those things. So do I, man. Yeah. I chomped down on a couple of them, flopped down into the couch, started settling in for the ride. Phone rings. Oh, that sucks. Who was it? Partner of mine down at the bar yeah. with some co-eds. I guess uh, he had uh, consumed so much beer and was intoxicated, unable to operate heavy machinery. And that was his last and only hope for a ride. Ah, gangbang story. <laughs> Not quite. Really? <laughs> so I'm taking that one street to get there uh, where I go past the house uh, with that weird family that's got the Christmas shit up year round. Uh, the, the Hanners. <laughs> and their cat is in the road. Oh, yeah. So I swerved missing. Yeah. End up in their front yard. Yeah. And I hit something. No. Yep. What'd you do? Well, I froze. I sat there for what seemed like hours. Probably like 60 seconds. Yeah. I peeled my hands off the steering wheel. I opened up the door and got out to survey the damage. And I just see bread everywhere. Red? What do you mean? Like blood? Like red everywhere. So what'd you do? I got into the trunk. I grabbed some of that uh, saran wrap that we used to prank Gus like two, three weeks ago with, right? Yeah. I started wrapping up body parts, threw it inside the car, got the fuck on home, man. You hit a fucking... <laughs> The car and your first reaction is to go all Dexter on that shit? Wrap up the body parts and throw it in your trunk? What's wrong with you, man? What do you mean it would seem so? So I get home. Why would you do that? I was in fucking crisis mode, man. You ever thought you'd hit somebody before? No, I have not. That is a good point. But so did you hit What the fuck is that? I can't believe those dumb motherfuckers Story. Oh, I love those things. And so do I, man, right? Yeah. So I come to, and the night starts like replaying itself in my mind's eye like a little movie. Yeah. And I realize I gotta pick myself up, go out there and see what kind of shit I'm into. I would think so. I go to the garage. Yeah. I look at my ride. Yeah. Not as damaged as I thought it'd be. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? Yeah. I take the keys out of my pocket. Go to the back side of my car. Yeah. Unlock the trunk. Yeah. Slowly lift the lid. Yeah. I look down, and them cold, dead eyes just be staring at me. Whoa. So who was it? Who did you hit? Fucking Rudolph, man! The fucking red nose right there? <laughs> no, so shining bright, just blinking at me, all red and stuff. So what happened with the chicks? What, guys? You're talking. Nah, nah, Roscoe, pull the fader down. We got like 30 seconds till we're back on air again. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. Oh, got what it. the fuck, you guys? One little thing. Sorry. Like, Don't, that it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You get a free bowl of soup with that oh, shirt right there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be showing you some soup. You be in the soup yeah. line. That's oh. one freaking thing to do. You can't even do I'll tell you what, Gus. Oh, no, come on, man. I'll tell you what. Why, why don't you go ahead and give it a shot, Gus, if it's oh. that easy? Man. Yeah, so that's what this dumbass got himself into this weekend. <laughs> it could happen to anyone. No, it could not. No, it couldn't. <laughs> Either way. That is an epic fucking story, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what Gus did you guys? What do you mean? You didn't get, like, fined or suspended? <laughs> well, probably fined, but... Yeah, I mean, what? You're not gonna suspend or fire us. <laughs> Maybe well, next time, but... Again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, how much airtime do you guys get each day? I mean, we, we use all of it when we're on. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, we're supposed to be on right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> $50 for a pencil, right? Absolutely. There you go. Can I get a receipt for that, please? Yeah. Taxes. Taxes. All right, thank you very much. All right, you have a good one. Hey, uh, next time, I'm going to need you guys to top that story, though. Oh, yeah. It's a daily occurrence around here. Life is a highway. We're going to ride it. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. Yeah, we've been pretty busy. Todd, I want to tell you, I think a big part of it is your interaction, your go-getting, everything you do, 
makes this place a success. And I want to tell you how proud I am of you. Well, thanks, Jim. I do what I can. Keep going, son. All right. Whatever happened with your housing situation and, the, and the, those fellows you were talking with? I haven't had You know, I've been thinking about it, and I think you should pursue that. You know, I was young once. I may not look like it, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, anyway, um, think of it as like a long road. Right now, you're at the start of a long road that goes a long ways. And it's got bends, it's got keys, and at the start of this long road, you've got a car. And it's got keys in it, and you're outside the car looking at the car. Now, your life right now is like, you get in the car, you can get in the car, you can turn on the radio, and you can sit there. Or you can start that car, and you can drive that car down the road. Now, your situation right now is a lot like that highway in that car. It's, you've got these fellas, they are in a band, they need a bass player. You well, play the bass, right? Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. And they have a room, a place where you can stay, you need a place to stay, don't you? Well, yeah. And that's two and two. two, see how the math is working? It lines up, it goes, it goes, it goes. So if you follow the pattern, what you have here is what's called a symbiotic relationship. It's like how two organisms can benefit each other, like a leech and, oh no, no. Anyway, it's, go back to the car. So you're in the car. What this is, is you have the opportunity to help them out. There's nothing to be afraid of on the road or playing music in front of 10, 20, 30, 1,000 people. I, that's, that's you may not know about it, but I kind of, I know, I've been around. I know a little bit more than maybe you think. So put it in front of you, look at the future, look down that road. Yeah, I was, I was actually um, thinking I'd, I'd go talk to him when I got off work. Sounds like you're in the car, son. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Miss Henderson called. Huh? Her plastic deer got hit again. The kids and their pranks and mm. things. You know what happened. The kids ran over it again. They, they hate that deer. Anyway, if you could check in the back, see if you've got a number 27 plastic deer. On your way home today, swing by and stall it for her. That'd be fantastic. You got it, boss. In the car. nice in here. You know, things are really, things are really coming along. Yeah, here in a few years, we'll probably be able to start recording something. Shut the fuck up, Jamarcus. We're gonna be recording in here in no time. We're kicking ass. Really? Yeah. And now that we're all here, I think we should have a band meeting. For what? <laughs> Obviously, Jamarcus, we're gonna have a band meeting about band stuff. Like, Playing fast and playing hard and playing loud. Henry, I can answer for myself. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you can't. And so I'm sorry, because you can do it yourself. Obviously, Jamarcus, we would go over things like playing loud, playing fast, playing hard. But more importantly, another question needs to be answered. How the fuck do we get Todd to move into the house? Well, you know, it's like... I think we talked about it, so at the risk of sounding redundant, I think we just ask him. What? We can't just ask him that. Yeah, I mean, straightforward solutions to problems that doesn't ever work. You guys just don't understand anything. After all this time, Todd is not just gonna join the band. Well, I mean, you know, he really is in a spot, and like, he really needs to get out of his house real soon because he's got some like family issues and family shit going on, and he's gotta get out of there, man. You gotta get out of there soon. Okay. How do you guys know this? Re really? He, uh... 
I mean, he, he, he told us. Yeah, you were there. Of course I was. I just thought he was talking about something else. No, he wasn't. I mean, I, I, I guess I can uh, try to see how, how you might think that. I think we need to meet with him. Actually, Dex, maybe just you should meet with him. What? Well, okay. I mean, it's, you know, you gotta look at it, like, like, we've already been over and over and over and over and over, over the, you know, the whole, like, band thing, and, and you're not talking about getting him in the band now, you're just talking, I mean, you kind of are, but you're just talking really about getting him, he's, he needs a place to live, and he's already said he needs a place to live, and you're talking about having him come and move in here, and he's already said he wants to come and move in here, and so I think really all you gotta do is go and just seal the deal, you know? I think you should probably do a solo mission on this one, because Henry's probably going to drink too much coffee, and then Todd's going to think he wants to suck his dick. That's a good point. Henry probably will just scare him off again. I don't know. I don't know why you think that. I didn't scare him off. I never scared anyone off. You guys are you're jokers. Kidders. I guess... I'll just have to go out and save this band one last time. No, you're my fucking hero. No need for the praise, Jamarcus. I mean, I appreciate it, but I really don't need it, you know? You guys keep working. I'll be back soon. You know, you know I really, uh, I really, I didn't scare anyone off. You know, I'm not a very scary, I'm not an inherently scary person. You can be pretty see, I'm not, fucking intense, though, man. I, you know, I'm, I'm a. Yeah, you gotta use that saw in there here pretty quick. Just work that down. Get prepared. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fucking. What the fuck's wrong with you? Are you? See, you're intense. Huh. John with the church down the street. Just going around the neighborhood telling everybody about our potluck. Alright. It's gonna be super time. You can bring whoever you want. Mm, we got a lot of people in here. Perfect! More the merrier. You mind if I come in and say hi to everyone? Uh, sure. Great! Yeah. Great! No. What? Yeah. It's not on me. Who? Who's it on? Who? Hello? What's up, man? Hey. Who are you? My name's John. From the Universalist Church down the street. So, where you at? What? Well, we've just been going around the neighborhood, talking with the community, finding people out to our potluck we're having. You guys are more welcome to come. Not to bring anything, just an open mind, open heart, and smile. Hmm. Smile. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. Oh, shit. You know what, man? Just, just don't mind him. But I did hear you say something about some lucky pot, and I'm really into that, and I, I, I want to get in on some of that. I'm in. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Fucking doofus. <laughs> well, you're like a hot tamale. That language. <laughs> no, seriously, we do have to watch that when we're at the church, though. You can't talk about that. I guess I'm fucked. <laughs> no, well, you know, we all have a trial, you know. But you know what they say. Strong head. Strong mind. You can achieve anything. Okay. We're defracticating from where we originally were starting, and I want to know more about the lucky pot. N no. It's a uh, pot luck. Pot luck. It's where a group of people get together, everybody makes their own little special dish, shares it with everyone, you know. You guys don't have to bring anything, though. Don't worry about that. It doesn't look like you have much to bring, but, you know... You just being there special enough. Okay, okay. That's good to know. But one more thing that I gotta know, and it's really important, is what kind of coffee they already have there. Cause I don't wanna bring some that's like, they already got down there. I got all kinds of stuff from all over the world. I mean, I could, I could bring, I'm not gonna bring a whole 42 collection. Hey, 
You know what? I'll just bring the espresso machine from Trisha's Bridal, because they fucking owe me one. No, no, we, uh, we don't believe in caffeine. Uh, so coffee's a no-go. Well, you, you can bring some decaf, but that's kind of pushing it, too, so I just recommend don't even bring any coffee. So, <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. It's also not smoking, so probably gotta leave your flower pot at home. Oh. Crafty, though. Look at that. What is that, pirate? Well, excuse me. Well, you know, like I said, if you guys want to come down, just, you guys can bring water, plates, nothing at all, but, you know, it's probably best that you do, but, like these, these cookies look good. Can I try one of these right here? These look delicious. Mm. 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 Eat them up. That's a good cookie. That's good. It's got a little, little salty sweet to it, like, well, it's more like chocolate and pennies, but... Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. You make these? It's not official sweetener. I'm you look like a Betty Crocker. You do. <laughs> that's good. No sweets growing up. My parents called it the devil's nectar. So, no, but if you guys do decide to come, bring these cookies. They're awesome. I'm just going to finish this. You mind if I take another one? I'll take three or four. Just take them. I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to wrap this thing up. I'll hold on to that later. These things are addicting. Mmm. Just avoid sprinklers. Kind of a little bit of a head rush when you eat them, though. Yeah. All right. Hey, Dex. Dex. What the hell are you doing? Todd. I didn't know you worked today. Right. Help you find something, or...? Yeah, let me get, uh... That, uh... Thing down there, the, uh... <clears throat> not down to the right, the, the wine opener. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's, that's the one. Dex, you know you don't have a dog, right? Well, I was, I was thinking about getting a dog, actually. Huh. But, funny thing is, I was actually gonna come see you when I got off work. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, we were talking about me moving in the other day. Uh, what, what, what about it? Well, I was wondering if we could, you know, Discuss that further. Well, wh what do you have in mind? <laughs> Let's not bullshit this, <laughs> okay? You need a bass player, and I need a place to stay. Uh... Thanks, come on. <laughs> you and I both know this is gonna be part of the deal. Well, what deal? <laughs> Look, I've been thinking a lot about this. Worst case scenario, I have fun with it. But this really works out, especially for me, because I've got to get out of my mom's house. So you're saying you are ready for the challenge to play bass for the go fast? Well, I'm not saying that I won't be rusty, but I'm gonna get my shit together. Fuck yeah, man. Well, we've got a show coming up in a couple of weeks. We're opening for Left Bleeding. Who? Left, left who? Left bleeding. Really? No. Don't know, but it doesn't matter. Look, just know I'm gonna have my stuff taken care of. Well, fuck yeah. Welcome aboard, brother. Should be a good time, Dex. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Do you actually want that, or 
you want me to put it back? Well, I, I've been thinking about it, and I don't think I'm going to get a dog after all. Okay, Dex. Put that back there. Just right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want my backyard full of shit. Who's got any headlamps? Yeah, they're in the back. Should really put those up front. It says in Matthew's uh, 15, verse 13 through 14, uh, all plants that my heavenly Father did not plant will be uprooted. It says, let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And a blind man leading another blind man, well, they're both just going to fall into a pit. Well, what plant wasn't made by God? I mean, Genesis 9-3 states that every moving thing which has life shall be food for you. I give this all to you as I give you the green plant, so... Well, the church also says, as citizens, we should abide by the law of the land regarding all use of illegal substances. Well, the church also says that the Bible supersedes all laws of man, so, I mean, if you look by that logic, then it should be good. Yeah. Yeah. What about the... Man, Matt is like on fire today. It's oh, he hasn't been smoking. Hot. What? Said he wanted to take a day off or some shit. I. So the right thing to do here, John, is just to sit back, relax, and take a hit. I. I don't know any more verses. Just for when you want it. There you go. It's a big milkshake. Just suck it down into your soul. <coughs> That's some good stuff. That is like some real good stuff. Yeah, we know. <laughs> like, real good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, but you should do what Todd's gonna bring over next week, man. It's gonna be like really awesome. Like, flappy wackity sacks. You're gonna smoke the shit out of it, man. Todd's coming, flappy wackity sack. Smoke. Boom. Who? Todd? Todd's the one who gets this stuff? It's like the only fucking guy in town who can get it. Man, I need to talk to him. I need to talk to my preacher. <laughs> what? Well, you guys have given me a lot to think about, a lot to discuss, so you guys should really come down to the potluck. It's going to be a great time, and then I need to talk to, what's his name, Todd? I need to talk to him, and then I need to go talk to the preacher man. Well, uh, be safe on your travels there, John. Some of these neighbors are real bitches. <laughs> Brian, the language. What the fuck did I say? All right, guys. I need to get out of here. You guys take care. I got it. Oh, my lord. Excuse me. Just got through. Okay, bye. See you later, man. Good luck. What kind of a fucking person doesn't drink coffee? Like, what kind of a what 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 sort of a what sort of an animal did we just have in our home? I mean, it's like. What sort of an uncivilized, ignorant, bastard swine doesn't enjoy a most delicious drink in the Hi, guys. How are you guys? Hi. Todd, take a seat, bud. Let me get that out of your way. We have exactly the right amount of seats. I know. Now shut the fuck up. Banned others. I have great news. So, you guys finally kissed. Congratulations. Why the fuck are you always here? I'm awesome. So anyway, what's this news? Todd is officially a house member and a member of the GoFast. 
Really? Wow, that's like super importantly special. That's awesome, man, that's super cool. You're welcome. Yeah, oh, it's so great. Bring it in. Come here, buddy. Come on. Right. I'll, I'll just, here, I'll just, hi, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that feels weird. That's enough. Okay. Get the fuck back in your chair. Sorry. Todd, welcome to the house, brother. Roomie. Hi.